Yo, what's going on guys? I'm going to be showing you how to carry on Trindamir in the mid lane. The biggest difference between Trindamir mid and Trindamir top is most mid laners don't really have the sustained damage output to actually kill you. Trindamir has one of the highest base HPs and base health regenerations in the game. Synergize that with second wind and D shield healing whenever they hit you and you're incredibly challenging to kill. A lot of players will give up CS and make mistakes just trying to poke even though it doesn't really lead to a kill. You want to start with your E. If you need more survivability, take Phase Rush. Otherwise, take Lethal Tempo with Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand with Second Wind and Unflinching. We have some Fury built up, which is giving us extra crit. When you're closer to full Fury, you can look to take Trades. So here, we could definitely out-trade her. She doesn't look like she really wants to fight us, though. Like I said, Trinura has really good base stats, so <laughs> when you're Fury stacked... People can't really all in you level one. It'd be hard even for Darius to do so once you're full fury stacked, full HP like this. And she realizes that, so she's playing back. I do have an armor rune, which isn't ideal, but uh, we'll make it work. Go ahead and get a point in our Q for extra AD in the hill, of course. Can't really hit her yet. You can take auto attack E trades E away and it will still hit them. We just haven't found that yet. I don't want to give up CS to trade with her if i don't need to since we outscale trindamir is one of the best scaling champs in the game it's an awesome ad steroid and a really 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 good split push game this team fight is okay if you have ghost if you want to cheese down kills in lane you should consider ignite otherwise ghost is best for roams and for hyper carrying in team fights jungler's a little out of position there not sure what he was doing. Maybe he got cheesed. Who knows? We can harass her under turret here with an auto attack E back. She's just not getting close enough for us to actually auto her. We don't want to go too deep to where we're going to take a shot. Plus, they're junglers in the general area. So, if you do want to have more survivability, and if they pick things like Nunu and Ash, Phase Rush is definitely viable. barely didn't get that minion we weren't quite in range with our e on that one go ahead and get a point in our w now she's burning through some of her mana she's playing super super safe for herself she's get, actually giving up some cs is what's going on auto attack e we didn't need to spin that far but that's fine good trade for us since she's playing so submissive we're actually getting quite a bit out of her should be fine here my e's gonna be up they're not gonna get anything we get them with that we'll hit them with an auto attack spin away we're chilling i don't really want to die for it i know their bot lane's gonna rotate shaco gets the kill he should be able to get out as is pretty solid your w reduces their ad and if they turn backwards, it also slows them, but it reduces their AD like no matter what. So if they're within range, it'll show up. It's a great tool to check bushes, blind face check things, see if your W lights up. Similar to a fiddlestick strength, it'll being able to drain invisible opponents. Whenever you crit puts your E on a lower cooldown, very nice. And it's an even, it shaves even more of it off if it is a champion you're critting. We have a CS advantage. And like I said, we are going to outscale her. Auto attack E reset. Trindamir is fairly easy to last hit on since he does have a lot of base AD and you can get your crits. That being said, those minions are at really awkward HPs. You can look to shove lanes if your ghost is up. If your ghost is on cooldown, then I wouldn't really recommend it. But if it is up, you have a good roam option. Try to keep our fury up here. Need to auto something like a plant or a scuttle. Keep it up. We're going to lose most of it by the time we get to this guy. We'll go ahead and ghost for this. It looks weird too. It's worth it though. Get him with our slow. Trying to body block him. I guess we can't technically since we're on a ghost. It lets us pass through things. Not sure what Kel's doing here. She's not hitting the wave. Trying to set it up for her. She's, she's doing something else though. 
I'll attack E away. I'll go ahead and heal myself back to full health. Against a ranged matchup, you might have to give up more CS early. As long as they're not going to take a huge chunk of damage for a single CS, it's usually worth it. And if you have some Fury built up and your E's up, you can usually take an all-in trade. Because ranged champions will try to auto you a lot, so they'll typically miss a lot of CS. You should just go bot. I don't know why he's even mid. We have a CS advantage on him, and we're getting a lot of map pressure. Our roam bot. We soaked a gank, and now we got the top. We don't really need help here. Fury is built up. We could definitely look to take a trade here. She's really, really scared of us. She does not want to fight us when we're on Fury. I don't blame her. The bot lane's looking juicy. We'll go ahead and check this area real quick. Zed is doing his thing. That sucks. I almost was able to do something. Go ahead and pop potion. Get him with the double slow. I don't even need to R. Trinimer has such good base HP. So freaking tanky. I am going to miss a lot of minions mid, so I don't know how worth that was. She gets two plates, it's probably not worth. I didn't have boots, so it was really hard to keep that going. We're going to go ahead and get tier two boots here. Well, maybe not. I want to spend as much of my gold as possible. Tier two boots rush is by no means bad on Trinomir. As long as you take double tenacity like we did, you certainly don't have to get Merc Treads. If you don't take double tenacity, you pretty much always have to go Merc Treads. Berserker Greaves is typically the best since it synergizes well with your AD you get from your Q. It gives you more the more health you're missing as well. And it also synergizes well with your crit aspect, being able to put out more autos. It's quite good for Trindomir. We need to build up some Fury before we fight her here. We, ha we have quite a bit more gold spent than her at the moment, but still, we want to take good trades. Got a big crit. We can look for another roam. It's hard to stop Trin roams. He has very high base movements to be at 345. Yeah, nice try, Zed. <laughs> He's wasting his time. He, he actually can't chase me. Chasing Trin so hard. Yeah, he's going to have to go to his turret. He's going to be so annoyed with his Diana. I have to get over here now. We get him with a W to reduce his attack. His AD. Down he goes. We had boots. We we're going to be able to catch him. Even if he didn't turn for the Q there, he was dead. Auto attack spin away. Wasn't really trying to steal it, but at the same time, I wasn't fully against it. We're getting a lot of assists on a champion like Trin. You kind of want to get the kills for yourself. Looks like we did get the kill on Zed. We got his red buff. We could ghost all in her here. She's playing back though. She's not really willing to step up and fight us. She's a bit of a sissy. Go ahead and heal. You heal for more the lower on health you are. Generally why you hold it. Plus you get more AD the lower on health you are. So the lower on health you are for extended period of times on Trindomir is typically a good thing. Max or E second. They're bot lane shoving up and I have ghost. You guys know what that means. That means it's time to go get some free kills. So they need to back off and basically concede the fact that they can't get kills or plates because we have too much map pressure. Diana needs to shove mid and get as many plates as she can if she rises we left, but she's also risking me just killing, killing her. She steps up and I'm still there. Auto attack spin away. I didn't get my spin over the wall though, but we do get ghost extensions. Jin screwed. Nami landed bubble. Varus is kill stealing me hard. Go ahead and spin. We get more ghost extensions. We are on ghost this whole time pretty much. And Diana is still running away. She's only gotten one play. She is a very, very respectful of our carry potential. Red buff is fading. I'll go ahead and reset. We're sitting on a lot of gold. We can get tier two boots and a uh, pickaxe. Hey, friend. Auto attack W reset.
we get off our hill and we are not going to die. Zed only has tier one boots. He can't reach us in time. Yep. Power up Trindamir, baby. Let's go. It's a lot like playing Mordekaiser mid. You're not cool. It's very similar to Mord mid, except you have less range than Mord. And Mord's shield is a little bit better than your heal. Because when an Electrocute Mage goes into burst you on Mord, assuming you have your shield built up, you can pop it. And then they can't do anything to you. They basically put their Electrocute on cooldown, waste mana, and do zero damage. Trindamir, they can put more damage on you. So basically, Trin's a worse version of Mord mid. However, Trin outscales Mord and is more useful in the late game and in split push scenarios. So a bit of give and take situation there. We need some Fury built up. We'll look for a ward here in a second. She should be trading with me before I built up my Fury there. She might be afraid though since I have more gold spent than her. The only time you can really trade with Trin is when his Fury is not fully stacked. When it's fully stacked, man, it's... It's hard. It's really, really challenging. Oh, cool. Thanks, said. Auto attack E reset. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait. Why is that here? Wait. Why was that and Diana there? It's like they knew I was on it. We'll let the Shaco clone tank it. Hey, Diana. My R still on cooldown. They may not know that, though. I'm hoping they don't know that. <laughs> they almost killed me there. We'll go ahead and heal. Maybe look for the Scuttle Crab, get some Fury. And we'll push wave, probably get a plate still. Diana's on a fairly long respawn. She's level nine. Your respawn is longer based on your champion level, not on the length of the game itself. If you've ever noticed when you're higher level than someone, even if you die before they do, they'll typically spawn in before you. Auto attack E reset. Keep axing our E second, W last. W per level doesn't get very much. Slowing goes up by 7% and 80 minus 15 from the opponent. We can kill her in between turrets. If you have your R up and you're fed, or if you have your R and red buff, it's really hard for them to get away from you. I mean, five seconds of not dying is pretty sweet. Walk back into that and then we'll walk away. Keep in mind, and when you look at gold spent, me and her are very similar right now because I'm sitting on 1500 gold. So if you actually add it up, we are within like 500 gold spent of each other at this moment. I'm only one level up on her. That's just Trindamir mid for you. He doesn't need a gold advantage to kill you. He just needs his Fury and some crits. Go for Navari next. I actually look for the pickaxe. We'll buy a control ward and a blue ward. If they FF pre-25, we'll go ahead and do a part two. But if this game lasts longer than 25, this will be it. I would like to show you guys Trindamir against a range champ. I think he's more fun against range. Against melees, oftentimes this is what happens. They play super submissive and it's like kind of boring. You have to run more, which is fine. But against range champs, it's hilarious because they'll miss so many minions trying to poke you. Auto attack E reset. <laughs> You can't gank Trindamir. It's honestly impossible if his ease up. It's a free LeBlanc dash. And plus the champ, he already has good movement speed. He has a base movement speed of 345. I don't really know where anyone's at. I can go sit on the split though. I don't really have to group. None of them can match me. They'll have to send multiple down the, on the edge of the map. And now that we have Gale Force, it's a free extra dash slash damage execute it's very very strong on trend makes it hard for them to actually get away from you because you can lead in with an e auto stay on them with autos and then if they flash a dash away you can get force into them getting that extra damage since they'll be low on health at that point and obviously you'll be able to stay on top of them because you have an extra dash i think items like gale force i don't want to be like over opinionated but it kind of ruins the integrity of the game Having essentially an extra flash off of an item that's already very good. Even if Gale Force didn't give you an extra dash, it would still be a good item is the thing. It's not like the item itself is just an extra dash. Kind of like a QSS, right? When you build a QSS, you're only building it 
for the QSS active. With Gelfor Gelforce, it's already such a good item on its own. I guess she feels like she doesn't have to turn her back to me. I'm gonna ghost for this. If they don't turn their back to me, they'll die anyways. We get ghost extensions. I hope someone else shows up. We have full fury. Zed's trying to bait me. What a sissy. Oh, you're gonna die with me. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna go take your camps. He's gonna play like that when I'm missing this much HP. Look at our gold spent. Me and him are identical gold spent right now. He might even have more gold spent than me. He was afraid to fight. What a sissy. What a friggin' coward. He wouldn't understand. <laughs> like, he would obviously lost that because I have Trinar, but still. The way he was playing it was, oh, you won't do it. No, you won't. And it's like, you're right, I won't. I'll just go take your camps. The worst thing you can do when someone's playing like that is to give them what they want and dive them. You might as well go take their camps. Auto attack E reset. I think I can kill her here if I get my fury up. Never mind. Seraphine's trolling me. Let's get red buff, gold spent. Me, Diane are similar. I have tier two boots advantage plus pickaxe. So what is that? 800, about 1600 gold more spent than her. A little over, six, nearly 1700. I could kill. Oh, never mind. It's three of them. That's too much CC. Seraphine double CC into Diana CC into Jin Snare. If I had Ghost up, I would do it. But I have, my Ghost and Gale Force are both on cooldown to where I'm going to get kited out there pretty hard. We'll chill on the split for now. Red buffs healing us 40 out of combat. Zed, bro, what are you going to do? Come on now. I'll just go kill your mid. You guys think you have the pinch on me? It is I who have the pinch on you. Hey, Diana. I still have my R as well. Hey, Zed. Oh, I couldn't get the auto over the wall. Set autos would have reached. Set autos are kind of nuts. Mm, I don't like this. Auto attack E out. I don't want to die. Kind of need to spend my gold. We'll go for Navari into IE. That's what we'll look for here. Should be able to get it. At least the Navari part. Puts your non-ultimate cooldown. Reduces it by 20% of the remaining cooldown. Basically, it puts it to where your E doesn't have an actual cooldown. It's only like a second. As long as you're landing crits. Between the crits lowering your E cooldown and Navari. Turns Trindomir into a reset god, making him a 1v9 carry champ for solo queue. There's enough golden mistakes to go around in solo queue to 1v9 with champions like Trindarius. Gale Force is on a cooldown. I don't have Ghost or Flash, so I don't really want to fight there. Plus, my passive wasn't built up, so there's a lot of things working against us there. If I had Ghost up and Full Fury, I would have done it. No Fury plus no Ghost, no Gale Force. How are we even gonna do that? Uh, these guys are such stinkers. They're not even going for the Kel, they're just trying to get us right now. Auto attack spin away, don't mind if I do Teemo. I need to get uh, Oracles because of the Teemo. Got my R on. These guys are. Oh, that landed. I'm dead. Oh my god, I trolled. I knew if I full committed, I would have died. Because Zed was still full health. What I should have done was just. I should have Gal Force to this wall and then eat over. I tried to outrun a Seraphine R, which has the range of a max range Zerath Q. It's pretty nasty. Super fast travel time, too. It's a Sona R, but 10 times better. <laughs> More distance, faster speed. And it pulls the enemies to you. If it didn't have the pull effect, I think we would have lived. That's my bad, though. I could have simply lived. Gale Force in the wall, E over. 
I get them a big old shutdown. Stick on the split. Ghost on cooldown. R is really low cooldown, honestly. For how good Trend R is, there's probably be a longer cooldown than what it is. We don't. We only have 30 ability haste, and it's only about a minute cooldown. Finish that. I don't even know where. Okay, so my jungler is in their jungle. It's fine for us to take this then. He's not pathing into this, and he's already level six plus, so he's not really missing out. We built up. Uh, oh, they broke our blue wards over there. We built up a little forest of blue wards. You can have infinite blue wards on the map. They're not invisible, so the enemies can break them super easily. They're most useful for checking dragons and barons from a distance without having to face check or get really close to where if they're camping, you'll die. That's their main function. They are the superior ward, though. That's why they don't let you get it till, I believe, level 9. Yeah, level 9. I can kill Seraphine. She knows it. That's why she's playing so far back. Timo gets me his blind art. Seraphine misses art. My Gelforce actually just like one shot at Seraphine. Yeah, later. Oh, I didn't even need that. <laughs> My R still had nearly another full second on it as that turret shot was hitting me. Oh well. We'll take it. Go for red buff, and it looks like we might actually end pre 25. We'll see. 25 is the magic minute. Take all these camps. You gotta consume everything on Trindamir. He's a tumorous champion like Karthus. Everything in his wake, he just takes it. You can do it really quickly too, because this is E. Good AoE. This champion doesn't even need Tiamat, Titanic, Bombies. None of it is necessary. I imagine if Warwick was like that. That would be fun. Warwick got screwed over the hardest when they made Team at cost more gold. Other champions were super negatively effective, but they quickly buffed their AoE. For example, Rengar, they giga buffed his AoE, so he wouldn't have to rush Team at. Same with Kha'Zix, they giga buffed his AoE, so he wouldn't have to rush Team at. This was all due to them when, I think it was this season, when they added the Mythics to where they want... They want basically every champion to rush a mythic item to simplify the game to where Tiamat goes against that grain because inherently Tiamat, they didn't make a mythic that it builds into. So they made it more expensive and yeah, really screwed over Warwick. Like Warwick's still viable, but uh, it can be hard sometimes depending on how the game's going. It can be very challenging. Very, very challenging. And that is a quadra, not bad. We're still on ghost extensions as well. Ghost is so freaking strong. We can end the game here. They can't stop us. It's about a 25 minute victory. I'll go ahead and queue up for another one. And if it's a ranged mid laner, enemy mid laner, I'll play it. Otherwise, I'll dodge and this will be the only one. So. If there's a part two, I will see you guys there. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part two, this time up against a range champion. It looks like it is Lux. The best way for us to handle her is to consistently dodge her E. Every range champion has their primary damage tool. As long as you're able to evade it or trade with it effectively, you'll be good to go. So every time she E's, we'll probably just E forward into her. Uh, I can't really see us Eing away for any reason because if she misses her E, even if she lands her Q, she should lose the trade, even if we just land one auto after our own E, which is pretty easy to do. So for our runes, we have Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, Unflinching, just like last game, with Attack Speed 80 and Armor. Should have took a Magic Resist, it's whatever. They have a Riven Jungle, that's kind of funny. Their team is pretty AD heavy. Our comp's a bit stronger. It takes time for us to scale, though. We'll go ahead and start building up our Fury. Stair step these minions. You want to get as much CS as possible on Trin. Auto attack spin into her. She landed her E on us there. Not ideal, but we'll be able to heal most of it off. And we've built up Fury without missing a minion. So we're still in a great position. <sighs> nice, nice, nice. We can get around this. 
She didn't quite get it. She wants to trade. Oh, got the crit. That's all right, we can heal. D shield and uh, and second wind is putting in work along with our high base health regeneration. We'll go ahead and get a word down in this general raptor area. We wanna know where this chick's at. Once we start losing Fury, we could definitely look to heal. I don't think we need to though. We have so much more HP than her that uh, it just doesn't feel necessary. I guess we could have roamed bot there. That would have been okay. Yeah, I wish we would have roamed bot actually in hindsight there. We'll get another point in our queue. W isn't that useful at this part, especially if they're underneath turret. You won't have space to chase them anyways. She's blowing through so much mana trying to hit us. Her wave's pushing into us now. We can set up a kill on her. This is very, very bad for her. She has huge minion advantage. Oh, wow. She's, she's ruthless going in for raw autos. I need to thin out this wave. She's trying to push it now. She's throwing ease at it left and right. I actually got a crit when I didn't want a crit. All right, Riven, you goofball. Nice try, guys. Lux is going to need help to reset this wave. I would all in her if Riven wasn't like standing in the bush right now. <laughs> she keeps going in for straight autos. We have double her CS. This is what I said happens a lot with these ranged matchups is they'll play so... They'll play so annoying. And then sure enough, Riven was still there that whole time. All right, we need to heal. We do still have more CS center, which is good, but we're getting a low on HP. I wish my minions would actually punish her for just raw hitting me like that. She's very, very gankable. I might need to reset. Riven kind of messed me up there. I was going to all in kill her or at least force her flash. Riven would just not go away. She's so low on HP. I don't think my jungler's going to come though. So that actually hit me. Yikes. That is a yikes. She doesn't have ignite. So we can keep playing kind of overly aggressive I don't really want to back here I feel like I have to though my jungler doesn't want to gank someone who's been below half health over shoved for the last two minutes we can slowly heal back up and she is out of mana at least I'm mainly nervous about the ribbon and where she's at her dark harvest just came back up She's going to look to try to hit us with that here in a second. She is out of mana. She has to back. It's pretty good. We're up CS. I'll go ahead and leave the wave where it is. Auto attack E away. And it should still push to us because I left it with one more minion. Unfortunately, it got focused down first by our cannon, but still it should be enough. First item back. I'm feeling the tier two boots. We'll pick up a potion as well. If you do think you're going to get giga camped because your other laners aren't gankable, the type of champions they pick, like if you had Yumi Ezreal bot with, I don't know, a Shen top type of thing, very ungankable, safe, passive style lanes, you should take phase rush on Trindamir. It'll keep you alive a lot, especially if they have things like new, new, new Ash. The wave did push into me just like we thought because we left it with more minions. So we hit level six first here. And as long as we don't let her hit us with abilities, we should be able to heal through. But yeah, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and pop my heal. She's looking for the roam. All we can do is ping it out. I'm not going to follow it. There's no point. I'm a little surprised she would even roam on that. Yeah, she's going to miss so many minions guaranteed for something that's a maybe. So here she misses a wave. She does get the wave bot side, though, but we get a plate. That little gold advantage we should be able to do a lot with. I think we just have to... 
The thing is, if your jungler ganks someone who's below half health, who's over shoved, it should be an absolutely free kill on Trin because you have such a good gap closer and slow. But if they don't, against this type of matchup, it might just be best to roam, shove and roam. Because Lux doesn't have the best wave clear. She's actually so greedy for that. She actually turned around. It's like, Lux, you can't walk past me like that. She's been bowling us all lane phase. Once you're level six on Trinimir, you don't have to take that kind of abuse anymore. You can stand up for yourself later, Riven. That's the thing about the ranged melee matchup. The ranged champs get to bully you. If they're being aggro for the first one to five levels. One to three or one to five, depending on the matchup. But then typically, once the melee champ is level three, or in other cases, once they have their R, they can look for the all-in like you see there. It's the same, for, exa for example, let's say you're playing Malphite top and Nevane top. Or, ah, that's not a good one. Mm. I guess basically any melee top and a Teemo top. Teemo top's going to outpoke you and outtrade you for the first one to three levels. Not every champion can outtrade him at that point, but then once most melee champions are level six, they can all in him. We get our slow on her. Nice. Get the assist. Lux is so dead here. Got another point in our E. She's a goner. This is the thing about Lux is she does not roam well. She's so immobile. Auto attack slow. Bada boom. She's out of here. We're going to go shove mid after I help this little bunghole. You no, know, he's making me tank. I'm not staying. I'm not going to lose half my health if he's going to make me tank. He was attacking it at the very tip of his auto attack range. I don't know whether that was intentional, but I'm not going to lose half my health. I need to be able to play the lane. I don't want to reset. Getting the plate is big. Little E away. She didn't use a spell there. Whenever my E's up, she kind of holds on to it. Now that my E's down, she's throwing them out like they're candy. Oh, wow. I kind of moved into that one, Rip. Mm, I guess we could back. We could grab a Noon Quiver. I'm backing on a Cannon Wave, too. It's actually a really good time to leave. She's not going to be able to push the wave fast enough. We can grab this and that and this. He backed a wave. She only has tier one boots. Whenever our ghost is up, we can all in her, whether she has flash or not. She just burned her R. She's very, very killable for us. We have flash and R. We don't even need ghost at this point. We'll build up all of our fury and then look for the fight. Never go into an all in fight to the death without fury. There's no point. Might as well build that up first. That damage rolling in. Auto attack E reset. Should have put it a little bit farther back so I could get the back lines there. Well, my W missed. She had her back to me. I'm trying to get her to throw her Q and use the minions to block it. She wouldn't do it though. I don't know where their jungler is. Once Ghost is up, try to stack my Fury and kill her. She loves autoing. That's actually the right play though. Because if she commits to using a skill shot, I can dodge it with my E and then she's dead once my E's up here. Auto attack E reset, down she goes. She's very confident, but this is just how the matchup goes. Once trend six, unless he's giga far behind, you can't play versus it on any squishy mid laner. It's not playable. You'd have to be something tanky like Malphite or Galio to be able to survive his R underneath turret. If you can't survive his R underneath turret, you will die. There's no counterplay at that point. Your jungler has to show up, support has to show up, or you have to be tanky enough to survive it. Later, Riven. Whenever you play against a Trindomir mid lane as a jungler, you need to be honest with yourself when you go to gank it. And... Uh, <laughs> Take into account his dash 
and his what boots he has and if he has phaser rush because even if your mid laner is losing really hard like Lux, Riven can't do anything to save her from me at this point. She has to help her other lanes. And this is why Trindamir is so annoying to play against. Once he builds his lead, no matter what you do, it's incredibly difficult to handle because of his mobility. And burst and tankiness. He has everything. Got our Fury up. We have Gelforce. We don't even need Flash now. Hey, friend. Ghost for this. We got her flash. It's kind of worth because Ghost is a much uh, shorter cooldown than flashes. So apparently they're all over here. Auto attack spinned away. Didn't quite get it though. I don't. Apparently that's warded. She had a ward in the bush. It's kind of annoying. Mumu misses Q, but Vayne tumbled it so it did kind of to be expected she only has tier one boots though we spin on her down she goes i could just split bot at this point i don't even have to be mid we don't even have to be if you're really worried about level one through five on trend you can take ignite Ignite's generally a mistake though, because it forces you into a box. Ignite's practically useless on Trindamir once you are six. And in team fights and in the late game, it's practically useless on Trindamir once again. So if you are taking Ignite, it's kind of even though you're taking it for the right reasons, it's still wrong. Because it forces you into a box. Having the ghost lets you roam, it lets you carry team fights, it lets you play the split. Even if they five-man rotate, they can't chase down a trend with his ease and ghost. Why are you here? That was bizarre. I'm trying to break vision along the wall, so I hugged the wall really tight there. If you can move into the grooves of the wall right as they're about to auto, if they don't get off like half of the auto, it'll cancel their auto and then so they had a have a split second where they stand still and then they, they get jittered and can't keep up. There's different spots on the map. A really good one is this one. There's, there's different nooks and crannies. Looks like I'm gonna lose my mid turret, man. That's not cool. Gale Force is up. We can look for a kill. Just need to get our Fury up. Looks like Amumu is helping himself. I'm going to start helping myself to his camps. I was there and he stole the whole thing. I would have gotten like five minions, but he just chose to stay. It's one thing to take minions that your laner is going to miss, or your laner is going to miss the majority of the wave, but I was th literally there. I'm taking his raptors after I take this mid wave. Probably take the red buff too. We don't really even need dragons. Trinomir has a good enough late game without it. My R is on cooldown, otherwise I would all enter there. So it would be the perfect time to all enter because her Q, E, R on cooldown and I have Gale Force up. But since R is on cooldown, if someone else shows up, it's going to get too hairy. Don't mind if I do. He's pathing away from it anyway, so taking the Raptors here doesn't hurt him at all. He's level 6 plus, so he doesn't necessarily need his red buff either. And Trindamir can get a lot done with the red buff. Having that extra slow per auto and damage per auto is very, very juicy. Go ahead and heal off that. We'll go for Scuttle, get our Fury back up. Wait, why are you over here, Riven? Me and her are both a full item. I do have tier two boots in Caulfield, so I am 1,700 more gold spent than her. Is Caulfield's 1,000? It's 1,100? I guess I'm 1,900 gold more spent than her there. I didn't have my free built up though. She still would have lost that fight since I have R. That's turret. No one wants to defend it. I understand. It is what it is. Take as much of it as we can. There's no one over here. I don't mind putting E on cooldown since I have Gale Force. I could still get away if need be. 
What a goofball. I didn't realize Riven was there. I was going to kill Lux underneath turret, but Riven decided to show up to a turret where I had already fled and I didn't have any minions. That was weird. They are really protecting that Lux. If I remember correctly, Riven was also camping her lane. I'll attack W. And nice. I like how Fiora R heals the minions. That's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of strong. We're taking the turret. I don't want to steal her last hits. I want the wave pushed is all. We'll look for Harold here. We have a lot of open space. Three of them are dead. Two of them are bought. This is free. Oh, wow. Knocked me out of my even, even though it already collapsed against the wall. That's a very, ex very uh, prolonged hitbox on its knock. I hope she doesn't try to take this from me. Nice. Cool. I gotta end the game early with this Herald and go drink some tea and watch some Game of Thrones, so. I would like the Herald here. It's a good way to end the night with a show and a something that's not water. I pretty much only drink water, which I do enjoy. It's, having a mix up is nice though. Very nice. It's also getting winter time. It's getting colder, even though it's still 80 degrees right now outside <laughs> at, at nighttime. Heck, just a month ago, it was 95 degrees outside at two in the morning. But uh, it, it, some days, there was one day recently, it was like 70 degrees outside in the daytime. It was very nice. Felt like being in California near the ocean interesting how you can get that real temperate weather in just random places that don't normally have it mm, let's go for a pickaxe i think i actually preferred the cold weather preferred a little bit you can always put on more layers and i i'm someone who sweats a lot my body sweats to where if it's hot outside like it's not only am I sweaty and like sticky or whatever, but everyone can see that too. But that's not the point. The point is we have Harold. We're going to wrap this game up. We took a lot of jungle pressure simultaneously, put some pressure on the map, and my teammates didn't play bad either. So combine all that, and this is going to be a quick wrap up. Coming for you, Lux. Got him. Hey, how it makes you wait to lay Harold if you're in combat. I think that's outrageous. There's no reason that should be in the game. Oh, you were in combat a little bit ago, even though the person's dead, so you have to wait. That's silly. I should be able to lay it in combat. If I'm fighting to the death and I want to lay a Harold, that should be my right. Why take that away from somebody? It's not like that is it advantageous to you being able to lay it in the middle of a fight. Down he goes. <laughs> I should have I should have held off on one more auto so I could have played with my food there. There's no way to escape Trindomir. You have to be something like LeBlanc with double dash to be able to get away. You ought to be half Mario Kart. It's the only way. I had very fond memories of Mario Kart double dash. But recently I went back and played it. It wasn't as good as I remembered. <laughs> it was actually kind of kind of meh. I think I, I prefer Mario Kart 7 for the Wii a lot more. The mechanics in it. The only thing I don't like about Mario Kart 7 is the wheelie aspect. If you know what you're doing in Mario Kart 7, like you consistently get first place against uh, the 150 CC CPs. The bike's just better. On every straightaway or any segment of time, you can pop a wheelie without messing yourself up. It's broken, so. I guess that would be my main grievance with Mario Kart is maybe they shouldn't have added bikes or if they did, it should have been in a different way than how carts don't really have a way to wheelie, but bikes can and they inherently made wheelie faster than not wheeling. So, hmm. The E, Gale Force, get her with W, Lux, where are you going?
That's hilarious. I had nowhere to go. They were they were all pathing into my exit. If I was on Ghost or had Gale Force, I would have just ran this way and they would have been super far away because they were all predicting me to go over this wall. So I had to stay and fight to the death. It's hilarious. Really, really funny. If you can't team fight on Trinity Mirror because they have too much AoE CC, for example, let's say they have a Syndra, they have an Amumu, they have an Orn, and they have a... Uh, I don't know. I guess you could even say Luxon. At that point, you just perma split. Otherwise, with Ghost Flash, you can team fight quite often. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to hack the algorithm. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.